The next project is to work on this top, which has several issues that I thought I'd show you right now. The first is, the um, previous owner must have installed some sort of a roof vent and then patched it here. I'm going to do something about that. Second thing I noticed is that in the top here, there's quite a lot of rust. And I want to show you what I think the cause of that is. So that's issue number two. You can crawl out of the back here. Sorry if it's bumpy. Here's the outside of the issue. Here's that, um, that patch and the hole in the roof. There's also quite a few um, hailstone marks. This is from hailstorms. And the, the, you can see the gel coats cracked in several places. And here's where I think the problem with the water is coming from. This is a fiberglass top. And you can see a uh, previous owner has tried to fill this in with um, caulking. And I think what's happened here is the fiberglass, which is uh, riveted onto a frame or onto this uh, drip rail, and which is also the mounting flange inside to, to keep it on the car, has uh, this connection is not watertight anymore. So the water is able to come down the roof and get under the fiberglass and then it just sits on the inside of the vehicle and that's where all that rust comes from. So I think that needs to be taken care of. And all of that sort of adds, oh, there's one last issue here. Two, la two more issues, sorry. The, uh, the next issue is the headliner, which, which has um, failed it. It came all off unglued and I've scraped it off and removed it. So it needs a new headliner. And the last issue is up here in the front. Which are these three holes? Not sure what they are, but maybe it used to have a searchlight or something up here. And so those holes need to be fixed. So all this adds up to one thing, which is this top's got to come off. And I think the plan is for the next few days here is to get this top off, uh, separate the fiberglass from the uh, rain ra uh, drip rail or mounting, ra mounting hardware. And then uh, by drilling out these rivets, um, then clean up the rust on the rail, fix any other problems, uh, use fiberglass repairs to the holes and uh, fill that in, and then um, deal with the uh, stress cracks and maybe re gel coat it, and then uh, maybe a new seal probably. Um, put everything back together and hopefully then it will be watertight.
Okay, the top is off and we're ready to, uh, to start working on it. That'll be the next video.